All right, let's take a look at this. Hago is coming. Don't name Tiger. Knew that. 8x8. July 7th for PC. July 15th for console. That's only, uh, that's less than a month away, guys. We have less than a month for our new map. And this, this map, looking at it, looks kind of like a mixture. If you had to say, has it looked like anything? It sort of looks like a mixture of Miramar and Arangle. It's got some dark green, and it's got some, like, some deserty looking areas. Um, it's got some fields that look very much like Miramar. It's got some hills that look very much like Miramar. Um, it's got a big island like Arangle. It's got some dark green like Arangle got the water like a wrangle um it even has this uh river how far does that go the river goes quite far that looks like it goes like halfway into the map that goes all the way down you can't really you, i didn't really notice that my first watch through of the plane going over because it zooms out and you can't really see any water because it gets rid of all the color but that that water actually goes all the way into the middle of the map almost at least with the the y axis or axis of the of the map um there's also some water down here that looks like a big lake yep that's a that's a big lake right here that's cool um next thing i'm really noticing is just the amount of cities like big big groupings of buildings and stuff like there's one two three four five we'll, we'll call this a medium one i guess so five big ones on the main or on the the big island and there's six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, and then there's like a couple more medium sized ones like here and here, and then I can't really tell, it's kind of hard to tell with the um scroll bar here, but I mean, there's upwards of like 17 towns on this map. That is really, really cool. Plus this pier thing up here, it's like a joint pier between the two. I wonder if they'll have like a big ship it goes around. Maybe it's connected to this pier looking thing down here. I don't know what this is. Maybe it has something to do with a pier similar to this because there's sort of the same sort of elevated water looking thing as up here. Right here. There's a weird weird thing. I don't know what it is, but um it's a very interesting I mean, I don't see why they would put it in there if it wasn't there for a reason. Maybe it's like a ship um, route or part of part of something like that. I don't know. Maybe they'll have it as part of the game for, for something. Um, but you can see like there's like a, a big pier here that goes out. There's something here. Another, another thing that goes out here. Um, then they've got the island, this little island here that almost looks like a cliff. Like that that's a pretty sheer cut. It's not ed jagged like this. There's no it doesn't like it look like there's any topography changes there. It's just a sheer cut. And so I don't think there's a, a like you don't see any bridge there where there looks like there's a bridge right there. Um but then that's the other thing though. There's one, two, three, four, five, six bridges across there, plus another bridge right here. There's six bridges for sure to the main island. Then there's a seventh bridge here and an eighth bridge here. Um, there's there's a lot of bridges. That's really cool. Looking forward to that. Just the whole, I mean, the fact that there's, it's an eight by eight map. And in their, uh, one of their dev posts, about a month ago not maybe not quite that long ago um they did talk about um 
the map codenamed Tiger was going to have respawns on it. Um, they were going to have a respawn feature for codenamed Tiger. Um, this is something that a lot of people have been really, really wanting for PUBG. Um, because it's something that this game has lacked since... Um, not necessarily since it's come out. Because when it came out, it was PUBG was a pioneer for it, the entire genre of, uh, of Battle Royales. Um, and then you saw Fortnite come out and that added building aspects and that changed stuff. Um, but it wasn't, that wasn't something that PUBG really needed to add because um, Fortnite was a whole different type of genre of Battle Royale. Um, and it didn't, it didn't add in revives. It was Apex that really, Apex Legends that really changed the game because they brought out reviving squad mates at at like at the launch of their game where you could retrieve their banner and bring them to a respawn point and revive them i'm hoping that's sort of the same system i'm i, I really don't want them to go with the call of duty war zone type thing where you just run in you die and then something can buy you back at a buy station in apex you at least have to go to their box and pick up the banner there's at least if you run in and die, there's some. Uh, it, it's it's harder to get you back than it is in Warzone. You just have to go and buy back your teammate. It's, it, it's a whole other thing. Um, but Apex really changed the the game to the point where Fortnite introduced respawns, and basically every other battle royale since then has brought out respawn a respawn feature with the game. But PUBG has stayed true to who they were, and they said that, no, we're not adding respawns. But this map specifically has respawns. No other map is going to have respawns for now. I think that they're going to take a deep look at how um, Hago does with respawns, and they're going to uh, see about implementing it on other maps and see how the community does with respawns and likes it. Um, I mean, I've been pretty active in the subreddit for PUBG consoles since its creation, since it was uh, PUBG Xbox way back when it was created. Um, I, I took a, a, a hiatus from the game for a while um, just because my friends stopped playing the game because they didn't like waiting around forever and watching me play the game when I didn't die. Um, and they wanted, they didn't want to wait for 30 minutes if, if they died and three of us kept, uh, kept going and we wanted to go for the chicken dinner, which is fair enough. In my opinion, I think that's fair. You shouldn't have to wait around. I think that there should be a respawn feature in games like this. If you die early because there was a squad of four and you just so happened to walk in the wrong room or you didn't get the, you didn't get a gun. And someone else got a gun. Um, and and your teammates couldn't be there to help you in time. But they killed everybody else. I think they, they sh you should be able to get back in. Because it's a game. That's how games work. You should be able to have fun playing with your friend. You shouldn't have to sit there the entire time. That's just my opinion. Obviously not everyone's going to agree with that. And there is a very vocal group of people on the subreddit. That don't think respawn should be added into the game. It is what it is. It, I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, just like I'm entitled to mine, and they're entitled to theirs. I don't. I mean, their opinion is their opinion, and it's it's a fair one. Um, whether or not it changes the game of PUBG, um, we'll we'll see. This map is going to show us what it really does to the game. Um, we'll probably see kill counts rise. We'll hopefully see uh the player base um increase and we'll probably and, and with that we'll see less bots hopefully i hate bots bots are just an awful addition to the game and i think everybody has agreed with that so hopefully this map coming on july 7th for pc and more importantly july 15th for consoles i say that because I play on console and this is important to me um hopefully 
it goes over smoothly. Ho hopefully the map is as awesome as it looks. Looks like it's got a good mixture of uh, foliage and uh, fields and water and um, bridges. And I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really hoping the respawn feature goes over well. I'm really hoping that it doesn't break the game. I'm hoping that PUBG has come up with a solid way to do it that sticks true to uh, who PUBG is. But then again, they did just come out with pajamas in the last Battle Pass. So, your guess is as good as mine. So, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Catch you later.